friends, I hope you are doing well. Here we are on page 318 in your fantastic, glorious workbook. Uh, we're going to be doing some multiple transformations, okay? Uh, first question here leads us right into everything we've been trying to do. How can you use a sequence of transformations to map a pre-image to its image? So guys, what are we going to use, right? We will use what? Multiple. Yeah, we will use uh, multiple transformations. Can you name those transformations for me, people? Right, those are rotations. Yep, somebody said it, reflections. And translations. Right, to move or to map. This, is, this one's really wordy. A pre-image wow. to its image. Bam. I don't know that there's any math person in the whole world that could have said it any better than that right there. Nope. Or made it sound more mathy, like we really know what we're doing. You know what I mean, people? So, okay. Sounds good. Question number two, a pre-image. Okay, you've got it in your head. Rot is rotated 180 degrees about the origin. Remember, that's going to move two quadrants over. Then it's rotated another 180 degrees about the origin again. Compare the image to the pre-image. Wait a second. This is like a trick question. So if we rotate it 180, right? Like let's, we, okay, so we rotate 180. We end up down here. Then I rotate another 180. Guys, we end up where we started, right? So the pre-image and the image are in the exact same spot. Same spot. Same spot. It's crazy. Okay. That was good. Uh, what else we got to do here? Um, a figure ABC with vertices, here they are, is rotated 90 degrees uh, clockwise about the origin and then reflected across the y-axis. Wow. Okay. Describe another sequence that would result in the same image. I can't stand questions like this, okay? I really can't. But here, I'll give you the secret. You ready for the secret? Do the opposite of whatever they're doing and you'll end up in the same spot. And what I mean by that is, so they rotated 90 degrees clockwise. So we want to rotate in the opposite direction, which is counterclockwise. That's our normal one. So we will rotate uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise, also abbreviated by CCW. Okay. Um, okay. If they're going to reflect across the Y, guys, what do you think I want you to reflect across? That's right, I want you to reflect across the X. Reflect across the X axis, okay? Now, if we had a piece of graph paper, guys, we would put this on a graph and we'd kind of, we'd play a little bit more and say, okay, yep, here we go. Here's where it ended. How can I get there in a different way, right? But if they don't do that, this little trick always works as well, all right? So store that in the old memory bank. Uh, use that as you see fit. Okay, uh, use the diagram, here it is. Describe a sequence, I love this, um, that maps rectangle blue onto rectangle green, okay? Check for orientation. Okay, W, X, Y, Z, right? Alphabetical order, W, X, Y, Z. W, X, Y, Z, ooh. ooh. Same orientation. Same, so that right now, Right, we started off having, okay, three, three transformations we could have used. But now the orientation is the same, so now we're just down to two. Okay, so this means we're either going to translate it or rotate it. Reflection is right out. Guys, if we translate this, is there any, no, that's not going to work for us, okay? So I think we've got to have a rotation in here. All right. We're moving two quadrants away, okay? So I think we need to rotate 180 degrees. Remember, each quadrant is 90 degrees. So Z is right here at 2, 2. All right, if I rotate 180 degrees, Z is now at negative 2, negative 2. 
So Z becomes here. All right, W is at 2, 4. Again, I'm just applying our rules. W prime would be at negative 2, negative 4. Negative 2. Wait a second. Somebody didn't yell at me. Uh, negative 2, negative 2. I apologize. Here's Z, everybody. There you go. Uh, w is at negative 2, negative 4. Negative 2, negative 4. There is W. Okay. Uh, what else we got? X is at 5. Uh, 5, 4. Okay, so x prime is at negative 5, negative 4, uh, negative 5, negative 4. And this is x prime. Okay. Uh, what are we missing? Why? Why do you ask? Uh, let's see. 5, 2. Y prime, negative 5, negative 2. Uh, negative 5, negative 2. Oh, no. I didn't do something right, did I, folks? Nope. Oh, no. Sure didn't. Sure didn't. Uh, okay, so guys, what does this tell me? So we rotated down, we rotated through here. I didn't rotate enough. I think maybe we need to rotate up one more, right? If you look, yeah, we're down in this quadrant, but our size isn't going to be the same. So bad news. Oh, no. We did all this for nothing. Oh, no. But look, guys, here's the deal. Much like you, or unlike you, I'm not perfect. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to go back to square one. Now we're going to rotate uh, 90 degrees. Right, so we're just going to rotate it over here. Good choice. Yep, so if you remember I our rule. Been paying attention. No, that's okay. This will turn into negative y comma x. If you're going to use a rule, guys, write it down. It'll make it easier, okay? So these two got to flip. So z prime should be at uh, negative 2 comma 2. Negative 2, 2. There you are, z prime. Uh, let's see, W prime is going to be at negative 4 and 2. Uh, negative 4 and 2. Okay. And really, guys, here's the deal. We could do the other two. I can already tell you, uh, they're going to be right here and right here. Okay, this is going to be Y prime. It's going to be X prime. All right, so we rotated 90 degrees. What's my last move I need to do? Well, we just got to slide it or translate it down. So I want to translate down how many units? Let's go from Z prime down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Down six units. Okay. So guys, hey, moral of the story. If you mess up, no big deal. Just get rid of it. Go back to square one. It's okay. All right. Um, but that was our sequence there. This one says, describe another way you could map a rectangle another one. onto there, okay? Well, instead of rotating it here, could I rotate it all the way down here into quadrant four and then slide it over to the left? You better believe we could. So that would be another one. Again, we're not going to go through that one because we've already figured out one for it. Um, ooh, and then we're going to do something fun here at the end. Draw the image of that rectangle after reflection across y equals 1 and a translation of one unit right. Label. Okay. W. This is good. So y equals, i got to remember all this. y equals 1 and one unit right. I got you. y equals 1. Okay. So, guys, y equals 1. This line right here. Okay. So... This means Z is going to be here. Oh, and then we're going to go one unit to the right. Oh, this is, this is all bad. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is X. Two, three. Boy, they, they could have made us go a little bit further there. This is Z and W. All good. Okay. So here we go. Now we just got to translate it one unit to the right. Okay. 
So that means it's going to end up here. We'll go a different color for you. There we go. Bam. All right. So there's where it ends up. Again, we could uh, notate this with double prime marks. So this is going to be Y double prime, Z double prime. Uh, this will be not that W. You think they could have put it somewhere else, Mr. Moore? X double prime. We're just writing on top of each other. So, all right, guys, there you go. Multiple transformations. Um, they might seem challenging. Honestly, just don't give up. Keep working through it. I know you'll do a great job. Uh, tune in for Mr. Noel. He's got some uh, really good stuff going on with the additional practice.